challenge. The brassica family has many members, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, and of course, cauliflower, just to name a few. Sometimes called coal crops, they share many agricultural similarities, but the special part about growing these plants is that they allow farmers like Carmen Black to extend their growing season, sometimes clear up until Thanksgiving. This family, the Brassica family, that cauliflower and broccoli are all part of, is a great crop for fall because it um, actually, the flavor um, improves with frost for some of these, gets a little sweeter. Carmen owns and operates Sundog Farm outside of Solon, Iowa. It's mid-November and for the last 28 weeks, she has provided fresh vegetables to her CSA customers. In order to keep it interesting for that amount of time for people, we grow a lot of different things. So in the spring, greens and lettuces. Then the summer we grow, you know, all the different kinds of vegetables you can think of. And then in the fall, like a lot of things like cauliflower and Brussels sprouts that are hard to grow at other times. While cauliflower can grow well in Iowa, it tends to be a little temperamental too hot or too wet, and the plant might either bolt early or not develop at all. A typical Iowa growing season usually means atypical weather. This can prove challenging for farmers, especially when it comes to finding the right time to harvest. This is, you can tell cauliflower is ready when it starts to unfurl. So you can see on this one, it's like you can't even see the head. The leaves are all wrapped around it. This one is just ready. And this is when I like to cut them so that they don't get overgrown. I think that cauliflower is a little challenging. You can grow cauliflower these start in the spring. I've not had very good luck with that because Iowa, as you know, gets hot. Things like cauliflower and broccoli, when it's hot, respond by the like flower. That is just a challenge, so I prefer to grow it in the fall. Aside from your traditional stark white head, cauliflower can take on a range of uncommon colors and textures, everything from cheddar to graffiti and romanesco. White cultivars tend to be some of the hardiest, so that's why you find them most often in grocery stores. You can see within even cauliflower, we grow five different kinds just for fall cauliflower. And so that means that, you know, the purple is not ready yet for some reason, but we will have cauliflower next week because the other varieties are ready. I would recommend growing cauliflower in a new space every year. I think that is the most important thing. So if you have a garden and you want to be growing things like cauliflower, broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, that whole family, I would recommend doing that in a different part of your garden every year and giving the ground as much time as possible to recover in between years. The biggest problem I've heard home gardeners talk about is planting them too close together. They don't produce as well, and sometimes might not even produce at all. The way you cut them is you just um, try and reach underneath with your knife and do a nice clean cut as much as you can there. And then I like to field clean them a little bit. Cauliflower may not be the easiest crop to grow, but as Carmen shows us, with a little time, patience, and care, it's a plant that yields plenty of rewards. <laughs>